Hey guys, Todd Helms out here today to bring you a Sitka Delta waiting system gear review. Hey, while I've got you here, make sure you drop down and click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, turn on the bell, get the notification. So every time we drop something great over here at Wingmen, you get notified and you can come and see it. Leave us a comment too down in the comment section. Let us know what other gear you wanna see us review. Give us some ideas, give us some feedback. We wanna know how we're doing on this stuff. And hey, let's just jump into it and get rolling with the Sitka Delta Waiting System review. All right, so for this review, I'm going to walk you through from the lightest piece or your base layers to your mid layers your ins and your insulation pieces to your outer wear. And finally, the waders, the Sitka Delta Zip Waiter and that new waiter storage bag that Sitka came up with. That's cool. I'm going to actually show you how that works. I think you're gonna be impressed. I was kinda up in the air about it when I first got it and looked at it and I thought, huh. Then I started using it and I'm like, this thing's genius. This is the perfect way to store my waders for transport at the end of a long day. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let me backtrack into the core system or your base layers. I really like to start off my base layer system with the core lightweight hoodie. This one's in Marsh, Optifade Marsh, as you can see. It's got a zipper, it's the hood, the built-in face mask. If you're familiar with the core system, you know about this piece. I wear this thing from everything from early in the duck season in October, and sometimes it's a few guys hunting September geese or September teal, even doves. This is a great piece. It can be worn by itself as well, but this is my foundation. I like this a lot. The face mask and the hood not only help me stay concealed, but they also help keep sun off my face and off my head as well. And hey, in the days of COVID, you got a built-in face mask right there. You got to go in the store, you got a mask requirement, guess what? You're covered. Thank you, Sitka. All right, so that is the core lightweight hoodie. That's going to be what I wear on top. Another option, guys, is this Hanger Henley. I've been wearing this as a core base layer as well against my skin. It's a little bit heavier material than the core lightweight, but it still wicks moisture away from my skin and keeps me very comfortable in more of a solid pattern with the more traditional buttons as well. So that's another option. It's not intended to be that way, but it's an option that you can do. Moving down the line and as it gets colder, I'm gonna add a thicker or heavier base layer. I may add it on top of the core lightweight, but my favorite for cold weather is the core heavyweight hoodie. You guys have seen me wear this under a Fahrenheit vest. I love this thing. I will wear the core heavyweight over the core lightweight hoodie. If I don't want a bunch of hoods, I'll wear it over the Henley or over a base layer of Merino as, as well. This thing is a phenomenal piece when I am standing in the cold temperatures of late season and I need to stay warm. This is great. I can also fit it in a backpack very easily. This is a go-to piece. Again, solid color. I'm kind of a solid color guy, but I like to mix it with that marsh. Looks really good and it performs extremely well. Now, if I'm going to wear a base layer on my legs, it's gotta be pretty cold. If it's that cold, I'm gonna go with the core heavyweight pants. These are in the pyrite, but these are their basic core heavyweight pant. It's got that grid fleece backer on it. These things are not only extremely warm, I have found them to be the perfect layer either by themselves under the Delta Zip Waiter when it's warmer outside, or if it's extremely cold outside, underneath those waders, I'm gonna put on the core heavyweight pants with the brand new gradient cold weather bib. Now you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of insulation. You're right, but it's going to keep you warm. If you get cold in these things, with that core, those core heavyweight pants, I don't know what to tell you. The beauty of the gradient cold weather bib is that you can wear them by themselves as well. Sitka did some cool, cool stuff with these. This is a concept that's been around a long time and it's basically a bib. It's got the stretchy suspenders, they're adjustable, very similar buckles as the Delta Zip waiter. There are interior pockets on this for putting a phone or a wallet. But the thing about these that make them just stand out, in my opinion, is this 
super high loft, non-compressible fleece. The problem with traditional fleece or puffy garments is when you put them on under waders, the insulation compresses. And when insulation compresses, it doesn't trap air anymore and it loses its R value. It loses its insulating abilities. Not so with the gradient cold weather bib. This material, Sitka worked really hard to find a material that doesn't compress under waders. And obviously these are brand new this year. I have tried them on, worn them around the house. I haven't had a chance to get them out because it's been 90 plus degrees every single day. But I know for a fact, just by feeling these things, I'm gonna tell you right now that these are gonna be the perfect layering garment underneath the Delta Zip wader. And I am stoked for some cold temps and some nasty weather to get out and put these things through their paces. I have a feeling I'm gonna live in these. I, I really like them. Just first blush, you know, you pick up a piece of equipment and you're like, dang, I like that. Check them out on the website. Again, this is the Gradient Cold Weather Bib. Probably one of the coolest things that Sitka's come out with in, in a long time. So I'm gonna set those aside. Again, I'm moving upward and outward. That's going to be my last layer on my lower body before I move to a jacket. New for this year is the Dakota jacket. Very similar in design to the Dakota hoodie, but it's, a, it's in a jacket form. There's no hood on it, and it's got a full length zipper down the front. It's still got the same Gore-Tex Infinium wind stopper layer. So this thing's like, I don't know, I wear my Dakota hoodie by itself late, late, late into the season. This is a very similar design. Its insulation properties are gonna be the same as the hoodie, guys. And it's going to do the same stuff as far as keeping you warm, but it's gonna be easier to take on and off and it's not gonna have a hood to get in the way. You know, you start putting everything on that's got a hood. If you're using this as a mid-layer underneath maybe a Boreal or a Hudson jacket, then you've got another, with that Dakota hoodie, you've got an extra hood and it kind of binds up back there. Not so with the jacket. It's just got the collar. It's gonna be a lot more streamlined, a lot easier to get in and out of. This thing's gonna be awesome. If it's not real cold, I'll throw the Dakota jacket on over that core lightweight. If it is cold, I'm gonna put on that core heavyweight and then the Dakota jacket. Again, I've got one more layer on the outside to help keep me dry and to help trap in even more heat. And that is the Delta Waiting Jacket. We did a full review on the Delta Waiting Jacket last year. There'll be a link down in the description. You can check that out and see exactly what our thoughts were on the details of this jacket but it is part of the Delta wading system. It is a jacket that is purpose built for wading in the water. It's cut short. It has high hand pockets on it here to keep you can, for a place to rest your hand. It has big, big cargo pockets on it for putting shells in it. You could literally load this jacket up with calls, load it up with ammunition and go hunt. This is about the only jacket you would need in the early season, in my opinion, if you're hunting in water. When you put this on top of all the other layers, including that Dakota jacket, you've got one more layer of protection from the elements, whether that be moisture or wind. I've found that when it's really windy, even with wind stopper, if I can throw on a Gore-Tex shell like the Delta wading jacket, it just he helps keep that body heat in and keep the elements out and I stay very, very comfortable. All right, I got one more piece in the Delta wading system and that is the Delta Zip waders. I'm gonna open these up. You're gonna see how easy this bag is to use. First of all, how about that wader storage bag that Sitka came out with? This thing is genius. Like I said, when I first saw it, I kind of thought, eh, I'm not sure. But I tell you what, after I've used it a little bit, it is amazing. It's light. It's amazing how much, how small these waders pack down into this bag. I could literally throw this in a big Nomad duffel and roll. I could throw my full, a full five day hunt kit in there with waders in that bag and roll. And yeah, I'm super impressed with this, but let's open it up and let's take a look. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to open this front, this front clasp 
And again, it's that hook and loop design that Sitka put on their waders, which <laughs> it's very simple and it's very effective. It opens up right here and you can see the waders are in the bag already. I have three hook and loop closures that I'm gonna open, but look at this bad boy. Sitka put a boot jack. They built a boot jack into this storage bag because not only is this thing a storage bag, but it serves as a dressing platform. If there's a bunch of snow on the ground or mud or it's wet, I can lay this bag out. Once I open it up, I can spread it all out and I can stand on it and either take my waders off or put them on without getting my feet wet or dirty from snow, mud. This boot jack is genius. Absolute genius. If anybody who's ever struggled to get their boots off after a long day of hunting on their waders is going to appreciate this boot jack. So I'm going to open this up. Super simple design. And it folds open like that. And you can see how that's going to turn into a dressing mat. Just like this. On the ground, it's right here, ready to go. As you can see, Sitka put a diagram on exactly how the boots fit in there. So there's no messing this up. It's really simple. Once you figure out how those boots go in, the rest of the waders just fold in on top and the bag folds up, kind of origami style. I tell you what, this bag for the traveling waterfowler, you gotta have one. You, this thing is amazing. I'm gonna show you how it all goes back together here in a minute. We've totally reviewed the Delta Zip waders in a video on our YouTube channel and on our blog and our website. And there'll be a link in the description to check out that video as well. But Sitka's updated these waders just a little bit. And what they've done is they've updated the boot. If there was one thing about the previous Delta Zip waders that I was a little up in the air over, it was the boot design. Not anymore. They partnered with Lacrosse and came up with an all new design sole, an all new design boot it's going to perform better in the field, it's gonna be a little bit warmer, and it's gonna be easier to replace, which fits into Sitka's design model or design idea that they're going to make a 100% serviceable waiter. So you buy these waiters one time and you've got them forever. You send them back at the end of the season, they fix whatever's maybe wrong with them. I found these things to be pretty bulletproof myself and uh, had very, very minimal issues with them. Obviously, duck hunting gear takes a beating in the field and you're gonna snag them on a fence. Things are going to happen, guys. Sitka knows that. And instead of putting a big warranty, replacement warranty on them, they thought, you know what? Let's make a waiter that we can rebuild and, and you buy it one time and we're just going to fix it. It's the whole idea that turning clothing into gear. This is gear, it's not waders, it's gear. Hunting season's right around the corner and I'm stoked to put this whole system that I've described to you through the paces. But I gotta get these waders back in the bag. Normally I'd be a little uh, apprehensive to do this on camera, but I think, you're gonna, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with how simple this process is. Again, looking at the diagram on the waiter, I'm gonna set this boot in first, I'm gonna turn it over so this leg's like this. Then I'm going to set this one on top, kind of like that, and I'm just going to put them in there. Just kind of fold them in half and stack them in there. Really straightforward, really simple. Then this folds over like this, and I've got my hook and loop closure. I'm going to pull it, I don't want to get it super tight, just enough so I can close it. Get this one closed, and then I've got this one closed. I'll slide that down a little bit, close it. Now this is the fun part. Boot jack portion folds up over the top. This comes down and I've got a hook and loop closure right here that I slide on and guess what guys? My waders are put away, that simple. Not only does it make them more compact and easier to pack into your kit, it keeps everything clean, which I kind of like. So that is your Delta waiting system in a nutshell. There's different pieces you can mix and match in, but guys day in and day out for across the whole spectrum of waterfowling, this system is gonna take you from early season all the way through into the late season and keep you warm and in the field while everybody else is at home whining about their gear. Let us know what other reviews you wanna see us do. Make sure you're checking us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We're all over that, and 
Don't miss out on our all new Wingmen podcast coming your way. I've had some phenomenal guests on there. Till next time, after you check all that stuff out, we'll see you in the field.